Hello everyone, so it's a tutorial on uh, using uh, Quantus Prime Light Edition for the design of a 4-bit register. So the first step is to create a new project. So you can go to File, uh, New Project Wizard, click Next, and here we can select our directory. So here I'm just going to create a new folder called Reg4 for a 4-bit register. Put reg4 there and then click next. Create the directory, click yes, empty project, click next, select the appropriate devices, click next, click next, and finish. So then uh, we're going to create a canvas for us to um, uh, make the plot diagram schematic going. So you can go to File, New. The pop-up here, we can select the block diagram or the schematic file and click OK. So we are going to uh, design and implement the 4-bit register. So um, we need to get the registers components. So just double-click on the canvas to get the uh, symbol uh, pop-up window and we find the one bit T register or the D flip flop here. You click on primitive, storage, and BFF. Click OK on the BFF. Okay, let's click there. And we're going to instantiate uh, four of these components. So we can just Control C, Control V to get the, uh, the four registers for instance one, instance two, and um, instance three. Okay, so just make appropriate spaces there. Okay. okay, and now we can make the input and output connection. So we're going to select our input ports for the in, and, um, and here we can, think we can call this uh, B in. Let's double click pin name there. We're going to call it P underscore in. And we're going to make it three bits. So three dot dot zero close bracket okay and then we're going to uh, create the clock and the reset pins the clock and the reset pins so here we're going to call it the uh, clk and here is the rst for reset okay and um, let's connect the reset and the uh, clock first so just like we did before, we're going to connect the clock signal to the clock, the clock signal to the clock, the clock signal to the clock, and finally for the pause register, the clock signal to the clock. And for the reset, we're going to connect the IP low reset. Okay, so the IP low reset. Um, I'm going to connect some more on the IP low reset. Down here. Okay, and also uh, in the last one down here. So we have connected our clock and reset, and now we need to connect the data bus uh, and also the output. So let's create the output port first. I'm going to create the output port here. I'm going to call it Q out, Q underscore out. Also 3 bit dot dot zero close bracket and here is a little bit different methodology we are going to put the uh, bus tool as you can see the orthogonal bus tool so you just click on the orthogonal bus tool and we are going to create the bus all the way to uh, down here and similarly for the output we're going to create a bus all the way until down there and we are going to connect the wires so just Click on the orthogonal node tool, and we are going to uh, connect the wire to that, and we are going to double click on the wire. Uh, properties, okay, so you can uh, click on the wire, right click properties, and we are going to call the wire D underscore um, three. 
Okay, so, so this is bit three of, of B in. And then uh, we are also going to um, create a wire here from here to here, create a wire from B to D, and finally B to D. Okay, and similarly, we also want to connect our Q output, Q output, Q output, and the Q output. And we're gonna call this. Um, so we are going to call this one, right click properties, and we'll call this B underscore in two, okay. We're gonna call this B underscore one. And the last one here is B underscore in zero. Zero, one, two, three. And for the output, we are gonna call it Q underscore out three. I click properties, Q underscore out two. I click properties, Q underscore out one. And finally, the last one will be Q underscore out zero. Okay, so just double check, we have three, two, one, zero. Three, two, one, zero. And we have uh, all the required connections for our design. So the next step is to save this design. We go to File, Save. And we're just going to save inside our Rage 4 directory. So here we just click Save. And next, we're going to uh, compile and check if there's any errors in the design. So we can just simply click the analysis and synthesis on the left uh, task page. Double click there. And we can make this bigger and see if there are errors in, in, in our design. Just wait a moment here. Okay, currently at 4%. Just going to wait. Okay, and it looks like we are done with zero errors and one warning. So warning we can normally ignore. And the next step is to create a symbol uh, for this 4-bit uh, register. So we can just go to File, Create Update, uh, Create Symbol File for the current file. Okay, so you can click this. Put the rage for the BSF, BS, uh, BSF in the rage for directory. Click save, and now it's saying that we have created the symbol. So the next step is going to instantiate the symbol at a top level. So next, you can go file, new, go to block diagram schematic file, click OK, and we get a new canvas. Okay, and from here, you can just double click, okay, double left click. And in the symbol, we should have our project directory. So in our project tree, we should have our range for design. And just click OK. And this is the uh, design. So if we double click inside here, we should be going to the range for the media. Okay. And next, we can create the, uh, the pins for the design. So we are going to create the bus first, the input bus for the input D. We're going to create uh, the block and also the reset. Okay, also for the output pins, we are going to create one bus for the pin. Okay, okay. so just make the, uh, the, the connections there. Okay, this, this should be a, a, a bus connection. Connection complete, so bus connection. And this one we call it um we call it b underscore in uh, b zero okay here you can call it q underscore out three zero okay and here we can call it the clock and here we can call it the reset okay so we just made a connection like so for the reset and the uh, 
Okay, so now we have done. So what we have done is we have uh, uh, created a top level block for the D, uh, the point for the, the, the four bit register. Okay, uh, so here this block can be integrated with uh, different blocks to create a different path. So here we can go file, save, and we're just going to file, save this as the uh, top reg. So top reg uh, dot bd. Let's click OK. Okay, so um, okay, so we have the top reg. Okay, so you can synthesize the, the top reg. Okay, just a moment here. Add current file to project. Okay. We need to add the top mesh VDF uh, into our project. Okay. This should be no error there. File, project, and kind of file to projects. Okay. Okay, uh, okay, so okay, so um, up here by default is on hierarchy, so we can click on the files and then we can see that we have the top reg and the reg four, so we can just go ahead. And right click set as top level entity for the top reg. Then go to hierarchy, we have the top reg on the top. Okay, so now here is our top, and now we can start to analyze and um, uh, synthesize the, the top level design, the top reg, which is this one. Okay, so let's wait for this one. Wait for the compilation. Okay, the design is done. And here are the resources. We are using the pins, the registers, zero errors, and one warning. Uh, and we are done with the compilation. So the final step is to run the simulation. So you can go to File, New, and you can go to the University Program VWF. Click OK. Double click, double left click on the left side there. <laughs> click on the Node Finder. <laughs> Click on this, and we are going to add in our uh, clock, D in, Q out, and also reset. Okay, click on this button here, copy to select the nodes list. Click OK, click OK, and we should have the signals in our timing waveform window. So first, we need to set the clock. So we are going to set, click on the override clock, and we are going to set the uh, period to then a second, 50% duty cycle, click OK. We're going to set our D in, uh, we will set the, the reset first, we can bring the reset to the top, it's an active low reset. So we are going to reset for um, logic 1. Okay, so we are going to set logic 1 all the way there. Logic 1. And then for D in, we are going to set uh, our D in from here to there, we can set uh, a value, this value, and let's say we have uh, an unsigned decimal value of uh, four bit number, let's put 10 there, 10, and we're going to put um, our next value, RB3 value, 
Okay, let's put even your five and let's try one more value of uh, RB3 value of 12. Okay, and then we can start to run the simulation. Run function simulation, click on the same waveform, click OK, save, and we can run the, the simulation. There should be errors. We expected the error with the no V up. Okay, so we need to close this simulation settings. We can uh, disable the um, the no V up options there. Remove the no V up options. Click save simulation. Run with less, and we should be okay. Okay, so we can see here uh, the, the queue out is getting out at every 48 of the clock. So we can right click uh, radix unsigned decimal and we can see that the output follows the input and the positive edge of the clock. Okay, so that's all for the tutorial. Uh, uh, this for, for the 4 bit uh, register using uh, the quarter slide uh, edition. Thank you all.